Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to the channel. I am coming at you with a voice note from the comfort of my damn bedroom this time. Dang it! You just can't find a quiet place. Okay, I'm in the kids room, I'm in the closet, I'm in the bathroom, I'm in the restroom, I'm outside, in the car. <sighs> I don't got time for this. Okay? So I'm doing my sister's nails, older sister's nails. And um, got in there with the shape and everything's nice almond, you know, it's like a real good... I've already prepped and done all that really fancy stuff and now I'm going in with a coat, a base coat, okay? Curing it for a full 30 seconds because we, we're going to do some Gershon Builder Gel. I'm using color number 20, which um, I think I've used quite a similar color on my nails before and I'm pretty sure she saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, and what I got to do? I'm like, Ugh. okay, fine. Um, so what I love about these nozzles is that you can apply the base coat, I'm um, sorry, the Builder Gel exactly where you need it to be and now I'm just going in pat pat patting to the cuticle area keeping it nice and flush and um i don't know i think i was still trying to figure out the proper way to use this obviously i'm supposed to be doing a circular motion so what the hell i did and obviously i was supposed to have gone in with a freaking slip layer first so let's ignore this let's ignore this pinky let's ignore lisa at this moment because clearly she tripping i think at some point i figured it out i don't even no, what am I doing here? Am I just sort of like feathering it? Yeah, I think I'm just feathering it. Oh, there we go. There goes that circular motion. So I corrected my mistake. My mistake. Mistake sounds good. I corrected my mistake ever so gently. And um, I'm just trying to get this a full cover nail. And I do cure this on low heat mode or a full 60. Because then, you know, I just, I got another hand, another fingers, other fingers to work on. So given that, given it that full cure time is, it's not an issue. Um, this consistency is a little different, quite different from IBD. So I really didn't have to have her finger be held upside down. This, I would say self levels, but also not too much till it's like pouring down the side walls of the nails. Like you will get your apex to just be where it is. Just know that you'll have probably like a weird little point to file. I mean, you guys have seen me use this built you know this builder gel before it's not like the most self-leveling um except for this one time on my sister's nails dang of course it'll be her that gets like the good you know well anyway now i remembered oh yeah you need a slip layer right 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 mm -hmm. you need a slip layer girl um i'm using my poly gel brush for this which to be completely honest poly gel brush gel brush just use what you got Okay, that's all I'm saying. Using the nozzle to bring it, you know, nice and right where I needed to be, which is a little underneath the cuticle area. And this time I'm using the nozzle to do the circular motion and to do quite a bit of the application of the poly gel, sorry, the builder gel. Um, so I'm doing that circular motion, getting it as close to the cuticle as I can, which is kind of, which is a little bit hard to do since this nozzle is in a flat, you know, tipped brush. But it, it kind of worked. And so now I'm just going from sidewall to sidewall and, you know, dragging the product down with me. And, you know, it actually stayed a little too close to the cuticle. So I think at some point maybe I, I either went back with the nozzle or I used the brush to sort of bring it down. Yep, brush to sort of bring it down because it was kind of just like stuck there. Um... My sister was a bit of a test dummy. I sort of used her to figure this builder gel out a bit more. Um, she got some free nails, eh? Technically speaking, her nails aren't free. Uh, we exchange services. She braids my daughter's hair. I do her nails. Um, and you would think that I'm missing out because, you know, braids. Or whatever. But no, she has to deal with my cray cray daughter for a certain amount of time while she's trying to do her hair. I am getting off easy, okay? So now I'm using this bit that I received from an amazing lady. Um, Val from Sleep by Val sent me this in a giveaway. And I do love this. It is a five-in-one carbide bit and it is um, fine. And I'm just using it to, you know, make sure that cuticle air is nice and flush, but also get rid of that excess product. And because these nails are so short, you don't need that crazy of an apex uh, <laughs> of an apex. So um, it makes the process a lot easier. And as you can see, I do have quite a bit of filing to do on that pinky that we screwed up and we we screwed up. I screwed up initially. Um, so anyway, 
I'm doing this technique that I've been seeing on a lot of like the Russian um, channels that I'm using that I watch a lot. So I'm taking a bit of clear IBD gel and I'm bringing it to the cuticle area, the cuticle area, which I've kept quite thin, by the way, because I am adding an excess amount of product there. I don't want it to be bulky. So anyway, I'm adding that builder, right? And now I'm pressing in a bit of um, glitter here. So this is glitter from Model 1s. It's that platinum gel glitter. Um, it's like holographic and everything. Well, this is the pink one. I can't really tell you what number it is right now because I did not bring my swatch. Oh, I'm a liar. I got my swatches right here, man. Let's see if I can tell you guys what that number is. Okay, so that is Model 1's number 4 in their Platinum Gel. As you can see, it just showed you the pot of it there. So here's some other glitter that I'm going to be using. That glitter in the pot, I got that from uh, Sets Nail Co. So I'm pressing some of that glitter from Sets in there um, into and on top of that glitter from Model 1's. Because I'm, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm trying to go for a, cer a certain shade of pink that I couldn't just get from just using one glitter i think i used like multiple like maybe even like a third one or something you kind of have to see because i haven't watched this video in a minute i did record this ages ago just getting around to doing the voiceover don't even know when i'll get around to posting but uh, there's content on the way you guys or maybe i post this after i've already used up all the content and there is no more content on the way we don't know what's going on but you can start to see the sort of effect i'm creating combining those two glitters you got your hollow here um, and then you got your mermaid reflect here. There are two shades of pink. I mean, it's really nice. And then I'm creating sort of like a fade. So here goes this other glitter. Now, it's on the chunkier side. I'm only taking one, one of them, and setting it ever so gently in the center of that fade. And whether you believe it or not, it's going to create a unique effect that's only that's unique only to that glitter. And you can see it. Look at that ring finger, man. So now I'm taking a bit of the IBD white that I've mixed in with IBD clear to create a very, like very, very translucent milky white. And this is the technique. I'm applying that over the glitter fade so that you get, you get to see the glitter, but this creamy situation has added like a bit of a different effect on there, a little bit of a dimension. And I put it ever so like just underneath that glitter fade because I still want you to get the full concentration of what we've got going on glitter wise um, to that cuticle area so it's like a fade within a fade do you know what I mean like a blend within a blend and I do cure this for a full 60 seconds and this is a closer look of sort of that you know that sort of technique that's going on and then toward um, once I've fully cured everything I will go in with a bit of IBD clear to seal it all and because we had like such a thin application of that Gershon's builder um, we aren't ruining our shape or anything like that and I'm only look at it I'm only going in with a very thin coat of that IBD because all I'm trying to do is seal that cuticle at um, that glitter at the cuticle to make sure that that don't go nowhere so I'm not even applying that much. So I'm going in with the slip layer and then I'll come back with just a tiny little dollop to seal that area. And all the while I'm maintaining the shape. Do I file a little bit? For sure. Absolutely. Just to make sure that we, you know, have a more definite and more crisp shape. Damn skippy. Yeah. And I do cure all of this Oh, there I go with that little dollop. Um, I do cure all of this for a full 60 seconds. I'm removing that inhibition layer and you're going to see me start filing. To maintain, maintain, what the heck have I been saying through this entire video? To maintain the crispy shape that we have. And um, I'm loving all the dimension on this nail already. Like, yes. But we are going to add just a teensy, teensy, tiny bit of nail art um sort of like you know finish off the look but um i've been dying to try this technique i hope to try it a little bit more um in um different ways but i love that glitter fade i love how they sort of like wash it down a little bit with the milky they like mute it a little bit but then they have some of the glitter popping at the cuticles so you can see i mean i live for it man you guys 
I don't know. I hope you're branching out on this YouTube. There's so much content to consume. So I hope you guys are branching out and watching people from all over the world. We can never learn enough. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we can never learn enough. So I'm going over there with the buffer and I'm taking this um, brush bit, using it at about 3000 RPMs, maybe 4000, probably 4000 to get all that dust from under the nail and around the cuticle area. And as you can see, it's very effective. I picked this up from Nails by Jen, but something that Nails by Jen doesn't do that I do is I actually dip it in a bit of alcohol and then I use it to really cleanse the nail. See? Mm. And you would think that the alcohol is like splashing all over the place ever so slightly, but I use my drill on Coco Plums. Alright, you two. These Coco Plums or Scarlet Plum? Hi, YouTube. Anyway, YouTube, these are. Well, these, well, I guess they would be more cherries because of the thing. Anyway, we call these plums. These are Scarlet Plums or maybe Coco Plums. I'm not entirely sure. Any Mommy's which way. Because really they're not for you, okay? Plums is for the working class. Working the working glass fool. Mommy ain't working and she's not. Well then. <laughs> and this is what we have to deal with. Alright, you too. All right, you guys, that was just a little tidbit of what's growing on the island right now. I do try to eat what's in season, but um, as I was saying, when I was cleaning off the nails with the alcohol and that drill bit, my drill was on 3000 RPM. So yes, a bit of the alcohol splashes, but not all of it. So as you can see, it's very effective for cleansing the nail. Anyway, nail art. I'm using my Orally brushes. I told you I was gonna, I told y'all I was gonna bust them out again and try to get a you know a better look, better detail. And I'm getting it into model one solid cream number 18, which is this beautiful popping pink. And I'm creating sort of a half French. And this is only gonna happen on two of the five nails on each hand. Now I do alternate this. Where I created a half French, I will take the other nail, which is in this case the ring finger. Um, and just create a very um, straight line. And then I will use the Model 1 Solid Cream number 2, which is the white, and where I created the half French, I will create a straight line. And then where I created the straight line, I will create a half French. So just a little alternate between um, designs and details. So here I am gonna be doing that half of French um, on this opposite nail. And then I will do a full cure of about two I, two minutes because you know what? I don't like it when the solid cream just bleeds under like whatever, whether it be top coat. Mostly it happens on matte coat, matte top coat and freaking base coat because I feel like they break up the chemical compounds of the gel even after it's cured. Like they just start eating away at it. So yeah. Anyway, so that's my orally striper brush, you guys. Um, second time around. I was right in keeping the fate. You know what I mean? I love this brush. Don't forget to wipe your excess gel off on a paper towel and then just use some base coat to clean your brush with that sort of dabbing motion. And then you clean the excess off and then you store your brush with a cap or you know, however you keep it stored. But that's how I clean my brush. I think I've showed that in a video or two. Anyway. It is now top coating time, and I feel like this is probably Gershon's top coat that I'm using. Um, and the glitter starts to pop, you guys. It starts to reveal, look, look at that reveal. Isn't that just nice? Anyway, you guys, it's time to sign off and say all the things. All the things being, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I love you guys for watching. Here's a picture and video of the finished product, and I will be leaving a, product list in the description box. I love you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.